Hey guys, my name is Wood Holger and I'm here to bring you this week in Launchbox news and updates and without any further ado, without any messing around, let's go right into this week's news. I did that in one take. That is the first time I've ever done that, I think, for any video ever. Launchbox Update 7.8 came out on Tuesday and the release once again went very smoothly. It's even more stable than the 7.7 .7 release. New features included manually and automatically populated playlists, custom platform sorting, and arcade playlists to divide up on the arcade platform. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the new playlist features, ETA Prime, the other fantastic YouTuber we have working for this channel, has he's done a tutorial video on this channel that you can go over and check out, right? Here, well in the description below because I can't link during the video anymore because YouTube took that feature away unfortunately, but check the description below for that link. It's, 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 this is getting a little bit ridiculous, but Jason wants me to let you guys know that he is already hard at work at update 7.9. Don't get attached to any of these updates guys because they literally happen every week. So yes, update 7.9 is on the way, and what can we expect from this update? The first beta is already out with platform categories for big box. Platform categories allow you to divide up your platforms into arcade, computers, consoles, and handhelds. It really helps if you have a lot of platforms. Now we have such an active community here on Launchbox, something that I've talked about a bunch of times, people going out and making startup videos and themes and helping us out, helping contribute to Launchbox. But for the first time, I'm gonna ask you guys to help out with something. We are actually in need of new videos and logos for the four new platform categories. James Baker is already hard at work coming up with some awesome videos for the platform categories, but the more selection, the better. We also need logo images for the wheels, so if you're good at building images, now's your chance to get one included with Launchbox. So if you're watching this and uh, you can help with any of that, I know Jason would really appreciate it. And it'd be, I, I wish I could do stuff like that because it would be cool to see my work used on Launchbox and like other people using I would love to make a theme. I have so many ideas for cool themes that I would love to be able to make. And I, I, don't, I just don't have uh, the skills all the time to do anything like that. But this is your chance to help out if you want. So we had those community polls recently and you guys voted for a bunch of different things. And the last thing that we haven't done that was highly voted for was nested filters in Big Box. And we're actually working on that right now in the 7.9 release. So every, everything that was voted on that got a high amount of votes, Jason actually took care of. It wasn't a matter of which one had the most votes or which couple had the most votes. Everything that had a high amount of votes, Jason wanted to work on. So if there's ever another poll and you guys see it and hear about it, make sure to go over and vote because it's not a matter of what one wins, it's a matter of what you guys want. And whatever you guys want, Jason will work towards actually achieving, which is really cool. Once this new feature is implemented and version 7.9 comes out, we'll do a brand new poll to see what we should tackle next. And this week's Big Box Theme of the Week is Modern Mini by user... I, I, I'm not even gonna... Not even gonna attempt it. This user. No, I, I want it... Sylvia... <laughs> I'm gonna attempt it. It's too tempting to not attempt it. Sylvia, Sylvia Lopes with a V at the front. V, Vis, Vis, Sylvia Lopes. This theme is based on the classic mini from Gorilla and the unfinished theme Red 84 from another username that I can't pronounce. G G O R I O L G G O R I O L G G O G G O. This theme shows a lot of polish and it's great to see the community working together on themes. And a few days ago, I put a video up on this channel myself. It's been a little while since I did a top five uh, games to emulate on Launchbox, but if you missed it, make sure to check it out. It's for my favorite system to emulate, which is Super Nintendo. It was really hard to pick games to go on that list. I, I do feel like I cheated like a lot, but I had, it was so many Super Nintendo games, so many super great Super Nintendo games to emulate. If you're one of those people that watch my videos around the updates, Thank you, I really appreciate that. You guys are awesome. And lastly, if you liked that cool comic book startup theme at the start of this video, that's actually by user EA4492. And this is really cool, I love comic books. I actually just finished reading The New Walking Dead. And no spoilers, but the saddest, the, the coolest 
awesomest and saddest thing in all of Walking Dead happened in this. No spoilers below if you've read it and you know what I'm talking about, but it was a, it was such like a yes moment into a oh no, what just happened? But I love comic books and uh, this intro is really cool. So thank you to EA4492 for creating that. And if you want it for the start of your launch box, big box startup, then you can download it in the forums, just like you can download everything in the forums. So thank you. Thank you to, to EA. Well, not EA, like the company because Screw EA. That's all for me this week, guys. And I gotta say, I'm on a roll today. I don't know if it's the caffeine pill I took or what it was, but I I actually got through all of this without having to repeat. I think there was one thing I had to repeat, and that's the first time that's ever happened. Maybe I'm just getting better at making these nudes videos. But once again, I appreciate everyone watching these. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave something down below. I don't even, I usually give you guys something to say, but leave something down below. Say hi, and I'll make sure I try and say hi back. You know what it was? You know why I got through it so easy? Because I wasn't, I wasn't trying to be an idiot and I wasn't trying to be funny. I always like to try and like bring some like upbeat positive attitude to these videos, but I feel like this week I was just like on point, man. I gave you guys the news. I updated everyone. It was so smooth. And I wasn't, it, I didn't try to be funny. Zelda here didn't try to be funny. Zelda just stood there with his sword and watched me. Zelda did. See, I'm not funny. This is why I shouldn't try. <laughs>